Hi, I'm Captain Larry Bell with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. Up here in Mesquite Bay, all along this shoreline over here, as you work along this shoreline, little back lake area back in here, all up to the shoreline here as you head toward Ayers, Ayers Dugout, Fish Camp, all that area there. Continue to work this area. There are some scattered redfish that are moving up and down this shoreline. There's a decent amount of grass that's working in this area, which is very helpful. There is a ton of bait all working up in this area, all two, three inch finger mullet cruising up and down the shoreline. A uh, bunch of that bait's working in there, so you're gonna have to contend with that live bait up and down the shoreline. So the one thing that's been really consistent for me up and down in this particular area has been the burner shad by down south. The uh, Supernatural, Chicken of the Sea, uh, Color X, any of those have been really good. The water's a little off color, a little stained in there, especially when you got this nice southeast breeze. It keeps it nice green, uh, trout green tint to it with a little sandiness into there. Find those areas that you've got those bait fish. They're starting to jump out of that water. They're running. It's a telltale sign right there. But there's redfish, a few trout scattered in there as well. Of course, hope you're continuing to catch and release your trout. If not, keep only exactly what you need and move on from them. But the redfish up in this area here are starting to show back up. They're starting to pick up. So just continue to work here. Be patient with it. Work those burner shads in this area here and you'll find some nice fish. Back here in Bray, all down in here in Bray Cove. Get back here in Little Brundit. Make your little run back there to Little Brundit. Get up there in that back lake of it. There's some nice redfish that are cruising back up in there. You'll have to get out of your boat, work that area. It's nice soft bottom. It's not terrible. You can wait it really easy. Uh, water levels need to be up, especially if you don't have a if you don't have a skinny running boat. Even if a skinny running boat, you still have to make sure that that water level is up for you because the water's been dropping out here on the back side of this new moon now. So pay attention to your tides. Uh, that's just definitely a high tide place that's back in this area. And then this little lake that comes back right back up here on the back side of, of Bray Cove in here. Get out back side of that thing, wade this whole thing all over it. It's got some nice grass coming back to it. Topwater baits have been really good back in here. Spook Junior, uh, Skitter Walk, whatever whatever top water bait that you like as long as it's got a little white belly on it uh, it's got a little floating grass this back in this area as well so you may want to put you some inline hooks on that go ahead, instead of taking the trebles off put you some little single hooks that'll help with that as well hookup ratio will go down a little bit but you can still find your fish and get good hookups on them with that take a little bit more effort but it makes it a little bit easier to deal with the grass when you're throwing a top water bait uh, burner sheds again in this area has been good down south, uh, Supermodel has been good back in this area, especially when you get up here to the guts out here on the mouth of this thing. Work all that shoreline there. Burner shad on the edge, top water bait up shallow toward the shoreline. Again, that water has to be up for that to be really productive. If that thing's falling out of there and you're starting to see a lot of the water has receded in that area, don't worry with it. Work that the deeper edge of the grass line out in the deeper water there. They, you'll find your fish there once they come back with that water. Work all back around the corner here, up on the point. Again, the same stuff. Uh, burner Shad down south, Supermodel. Uh, the Miradine's not been a, too bad of a choice here, but most of the production has been with the Burner Shad. All this area here, redfish are starting to really eat that Burner Shad up, locating it, and it's been really good and productive. Down here in Spalding, down in this area here, all the way down here with the little mouse, the back lakes, all these areas here, Little circle back lake here, back in this area. Next little middle one, big back lake that's there. Uh, the first back lake that's there, you could probably better get to it from the Carlos estuary side as opposed to getting through here unless you really know how to work around there. There's a lot of shell pad that's in that little cut through that goes back to that back lake. But there's redfish that are back in there. This water's pushed up a little bit and been falling out with these big, big tides that's been coming from, the, from this uh, new moon. So they've been falling out early in the morning and starting to come back later in the day. So if you if you got an afternoon trip and you want to fish it in the afternoons, it'd be a good location to get there with that water starting to come back in. If you get there early enough in the morning when that water's falling out, that'd be great to sit, sit yourself up out inside the mouth of all these little back lakes that are in here. Another thing that's starting to light up too is the fingers of Carlos. All these, these shell bars that are out here, the reefs that are in there, the guts, 
Start working your uh, down south, your supermodels, burner sheds, uh, mirror lures have been good here. The MR27s, the MR17s have both been pretty good in this area here. Uh, working all those guts. There's some trout that have showed up in these areas here and a few scattered redfish. Every so often you'll pull one out of there. Uh, continue to work all this area here. You can start checking your reefs that are out there off of Spalding Reef, uh, uh, Jaybird Reef. All those areas are starting to have a little bit of trout. They're starting to show up on those. Uh, continue to uh, practice your catch and release on those. Look and, and incorporate a major or a minor in your fishing day as well to help intensify that bite at some point in time during that period. Just pay attention to those. They're, be, they're, they're extremely important, especially throwing artificial baits. But continue to work all these areas here. All this stuff is starting to really light up now as we're heading into June. Lots of bait, lots and lots and lots of bait. So there's going to be predator fish close by. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Larry Bell.